oil video on um, some of the class ships that we have in this game. Uh, so for any of you that may be interested in it and want to find a strategy for some of this. So it's best to always test your strategies, but this is going to be a ship um, common commentary so basically we'll comment on the ship builds and uh, which one and how to set up the path and what the ships to choose so i recommend from fighters it doesn't really matter because it's you rank up so fast but um i recommend upgrading to in the beginning uh, when you start upgrading to a corvette is okay or, or maybe skip to a viper viper is actually better so wait until you get enough money to get a viper and skip and then wait until you can get um, either a raven or the iron wing, iron wind, iron wing. This one is the best ship, of course, the ones that you can buy. Uh, but there's another one that you can buy through uh, uh, money. But uh, it's called the uh, X-wing, maybe of one of those ships. So, um, anyways, well, we'll go through the ship classes next time. But basically, uh, I have a Corvette class, a Raven. I upgraded it. I don't want to change it, so I'll just leave it as it is. But um, I will talk about each tier of this each uh, ship classes and uh, which ones I recommend and which ones I do not recommend that uh, you use and the path that you should do so don't buy every ship because you don't have enough infinite money you have enough money maybe to buy one one ship from each class to get you to the next level uh, as you go higher in level you get paid more so there's no point being stuck in one area for too long so you want to try to advance as much as you can so, but today in this video, we will just be concentrating on one ship, um, and that is not this one. Sorry, let's get out of here. All right, okay. So this is the Morning Star. So this is a cruiser, uh, cruiser class. So basically, when you get to level 16, you get to choose ships. So this is a really good ship. It can destroy the previous class ships, the Hammerhead and all other ones, really easily. So this is the Morning Star. It it also can destroy some of the tougher uh, ships in its class. So I think it can beat the Ego and the Star Bridge uh, and the Broadsword too, depending on which how the people set it up. The Javelin, most Javelins you can destroy. This ship is a little bit harder to destroy, so it's um, a little bit rougher for this ship. But um, but most of the time you'll be fighting ships that are of the same class. So I recommend getting this ship. Uh, and then uh, saving the money and then go all the way or sometimes some people go for this uh, the pre this previous one the star bridge but you have to wait for, for level 18 uh, for this one so i recommend not coming to level 18 to get it but just try to get this one and what it does it helps you excel your progression very fast because um, you'll be stuck fighting um, uh, you know those uh, previous frigate class ships if you don't upgrade so I recommend upgrading this ship to, uh, to the Morning Star. Okay, so let's see how it looks. Uh, it's a really nice, pretty little ship, like a Star Trek, um, uh, whatever uh, ship. And then, uh, and after you get this ship, try to save up the money and then get the um, the Wanderer. So that's almost like six uh, six levels you have to wait for. And by that time, you should have the money to do it. So try to save your money as much as possible. So don't go buying every ship. So just choose the ones that you may want. I'll, I'll re I will review some of the ships and give you advantages and disadvantages of each class. But in this video, I'm just specifically going to talk about this ship and how to build it because I use it. So I like to build my ships this way. So basically, um, I have a couple of setups for it. Okay, so let me go to setup one. So setup one is basically I try to have as much you know firepower up front. So in general, my setup is always some protection and firepower. So these um, these turrets in the front are good for tearing down people's um, uh, the especially uh, the shields and also the um, the armor. And then uh, the missiles in the back are good for destroying any kind of. Uh, uh, systems inside a ship so I want to have a combination of missiles <coughs> excuse me um, missiles and turrets uh, that I'm using to fight um, so I have one variation so this variation is basically turrets and I have a um, what I call um, anti-air uh, battery here 
and shields all around and then um, some shields and some uh, metal plating and then this thing in the middle is the repair bay so basically any part gets damaged it gets you can repair it and have three missiles in the back so anywhere from three to four missiles is okay and then i have a variation number two that has been very effective against many ships is i have a basically very close to the same setup uh, but i made a fit four missiles in and have a repair bay and i got a big giant giant power generator here and i got like three guns on the side here so sometimes the gun sitting in the side can get damaged fairly easy. So if you want a safer route, you can actually put uh, put it like this setting maybe, and then just put two turrets. I recommend two turrets inside, and then you can actually put two turrets and actually maybe even load a missile in here. It should be doable. So we can even do something like this. So I'll show you guys. Basically, so this will give you the maximum protection. Uh, okay, so we put some armors on the side. So this, if you do it this way, so you have some of these nasty firepower for this. But these these are uh, walls would give your ship extra protection, and you see the walls in the back would give you tons of protection. And then you can even load like um, possibly uh, one more missile. So you can actually load one more missile. Oh, I think I messed it up. Okay. So we can put one more missile in here like that, like that, and then we put our, uh, let's put the, okay, let's put our repair. So something like this is a good combination also because, uh, because we used up all the room for shields, we not, may not be able to fit anything into that little bay. So maybe we can possibly even put a, a rifle. But I recommend missiles or um, so some of these weapons are a little bit higher grade like a rifle these rifles have really long distances on them um, so this one look at it it's like 75 distance and uh, so wow this one is pretty good um, 75 range and also 12 damage oh that's pretty crazy the M2 railgun I didn't realize this one is this strong so look how powerful that one is and it only uses 30 so we can actually put something in like this so these are really powerful guns uh, right? and then, uh, well this uh, this one right here is a little weaker so you can see it's like an 80 but it uh, shoots a lot um, slower and it has a longer distance so but this i didn't realize the m2 is that um, i didn't realize i had an m2 even so you see the difference in damage so this one this is the M2 rifle which shoots at almost 80 and um, basically it shoots 0.4 shots and the, and the damage is pretty pretty strong for the distance so we can even you know possibly replace these missiles with these rifles uh, into this in the ship itself so I recommend so we can even do something like this unless we can test this variation out and see how it goes so I'm not sure what level this thing is released. If you don't get this one, use the missile. All right. Uh, so we, let's just fill that one spot up and see what we can get out of it. So this, if you do it this way, you get a lot of protection. You'll be safe in the your shield for a long time. And also this. Um, uh, so if we, since we don't need that much power, we can take this one out and uh, see. And then we can put a more stronger armor in the front something like that you see okay so we might be able to put one more shield in place let's see if we can put one more all right we can't put one more shield so basically look at this setup so you got a lot of nasty shield power shield protection and then you got um a nice gun and balance so uh, try to set up out and see how this morning star does for you if not then they replace it with the missiles that I, I have okay so this is one variation and you can also do a variation where you can um, um like this one so this basically my second variation is basically more missiles in here so i recommend uh, more plating because uh, what happened is when these laser ships hit you hard on the side basically kills you very fast the reason i like using these turrets 
is, is uh, because these things can shift 360. So you look at the difference, look at this. It covers 360, so when the ship is turning, uh, your ship is shooting. But if you use like, um, if you use like, if you use, for example, these like little guns like this, it can only shoot at 70 degrees. So the difference is like you're missing a lot of damage and also like 15 health. These things get destroyed so easily. So it's not worth using those things. So basically something with higher health that can last, that can stay within these barriers because when a missile hits the walls, what it does is still gives damage inside. So you want the damage to not be so strong and then the, your, your repair bay can actually heal you before it can cause you more damage. So this is one setup that I would recommend. Uh, I mean, this setup is not the best setup, but this is a, the setup that I have as a variation because I wanted to fit my missiles and more guns in. But this is actually the safer one. I would recommend this setup where you would put the missiles in. So I'm going to take this out and go back in. Okay. All right, let's do this. Uh, so you, I would recommend this variation if you want to just use missiles. Okay, like that. So this variation, but the problem with this is it takes a lot more power because of the, this, the weapon. This one takes a lot more power. You can see the damage from the missiles is about uh, roughly 23 uh, versus the, the good thing about the missiles. You see this impact? It has an impact damage of 1.2, which is when it hits the wall of the shields, it can impact and damage the weapons inside and get those, uh, get those weapons damaged and out of the way before they can cause you more damage. So I recommend the missiles over the, the rifles unless the rifles can penetrate. So because of that situation, I'm going to take this one out and give it a little bit more power. All right, we'll just give it a little bit more power. So this is our design. So this setup is a really powerful setup that can um, withstand quite a lot of uh, pounding um, from most ships. And also because the problem with this ship is that uh, it turns kind of slow. Um, it does turn kind of slow. So let me change all the metal plating because I think you may not have all the upgrades. I'm using these upgraded plating. Those upgraded plating actually last a lot more stronger than the regular plating. So you would have something like this. If you would have the regular ship, okay? So as you can see, so if you have this kind of setup, you basically your, all your weapons are protected. These turrets really work well because they can shoot 360 and you got missiles that can launch and, uh, and then once they launch, they can hit anywhere. Uh, so you have a combination of a lot of impact damage from the missiles and a lot of damage from these turrets. So I recommend minimum two, two turrets is the best. Uh, and then this would keep um, a lot of keep a lot of enemies at bay from this setup. Okay, so I hope this helps. Uh, if anyone, uh, if you guys have any questions or thoughts, uh, feel free to leave a comment. And I hope you uh, subscribe to this channel. And if you have um, uh, some questions about how to make a best build, so um, just throw me uh, your comments so I can make some videos for you along the way in the future. So this is for the Morning Stars. I hope you guys like this. If you do, please leave a thumbs up and support this channel and help spread the word. Let other people know that this channel is available and I'm going to be creating some content. Um, hopefully we can make something uh, once or twice every week, but I'll try to publish as much as I can to help everybody out there to identify all the ships as you can progress. Okay, so this is a review of the Morning Star. I love this ship. This ship is so strong. I was able to kill and beat a lot of these ships and I actually was able to beat... Um, Surprisingly, with that Morning Star, I was able to beat uh, this ship right here. Um, so the Morning Star, I actually fought a few battles against the warrior. This ship right here, maybe the guy didn't uh, load that thing properly or something, but I was able to beat this ship. A way more superior ship. You see, this is the warrior. It had way more grids, and it's also a lot more stronger uh, hull than my ship. And it was like. Um, so anyway, so this is a, a great ship that to have and also help you advance and progress very fast. But when you have the right setup, you'll go real fast. I recommend a repair bay at all times. So check this setup out and test it out yourself. And if you want to mod it um, and uh, mod it, uh, try your, uh, check it out. I wouldn't recommend any paying to upgrade this, this ship to make any of these modifications. You can see some on this ship. Uh, let me 
Let's see, where's it over here on the top? So the modification, you can add an engine. Or you can add a little wing. So if I, I recommend if you do upgrade this, upgrade a little wing on the side. That will give you a little bit of extra room. But I wouldn't recommend upgrading and spending more money on the engine itself. It's um, The engine will help you maybe speed up your turning a little bit. But I would recommend just saving the money and then going with the Wanderer. And once you go with the Wanderer, see what happens? Uh, this is actually the, one of the strongest ships of its class, the Wanderer in the frigate class here so i recommend spending the money on this one and upgrading the engine you see the engine i upgraded like three times already just got a little bit of upgrade left on it but it, upgrading the engine is the most valuable point on this one if you don't upgrade any of the other stuff just upgrade the engine the engine will save you a lot of um, and help a lot because this ship relies on fast super fast turning and a super fast uh, um, turning to keep the enemy shooting the front and, and armors which is uh, damaging your ship on the side because it's so long it's hard to protect the whole ship so the only way the ship can survive is if it turns fast against all the other enemies so this is the key to using this ship so you have to understand all the ships if you don't understand them well it becomes a big challenge to winning the, the certain lot of the battles okay so i will leave this video at that so don't forget to subscribe let other people know about this channel uh let me know what i can do to help um uh to, to help and then make some videos for okay so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoy this and then share with those people uh, that may need help on how to build the ships okay so we're uh, always a general rule protection and you also have to have enough firepower so if you go too much firepower you might be strong against one class and one type of build but you may not be strong enough against others so i recommend like a balance of a strong firepower and a balanced shield and balanced uh, armor so that your ship uh, can survive and endure a lot of battles all right hope this helps um, um and i think you know you fighting people in your same class you'll come up ahead most of the time by being more um on the one hand knowing how to choose the right weapons for your ships okay so okay i'll end the video here thank you for watching okay don't forget to leave a comment and uh, put, give a like okay take care